Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope your Wednesday is going good. Today we're going to go ahead and open up one of these boxes of Topps Finest WWE that we recently picked up. Did I pick those up at Target or Walmart or Meyer? I can't remember where I picked them up. Got a few boxes the other day nonetheless. But I do have an eBay purchase. Normally I don't purchase single cards on the fly like this, but I seen this one and it had a good price tag on it. And it is from 2021 Panini Chronicles. And I'm just double checking something here. Nope, there's just, is there one card or two cards in this? Because I feel like there's, nope, there's just one card, but it's really thick. Because I got confused on the, on the back of it. But it's Pedal to the Metal, Jeff Gordon. It is the green version reason I was getting confused, I seen that it said Chronicles Black, and I was thinking of the black insert set, but then I just should have looked up here and seen Pedal to the Metal. But it is the Jeff Gordon, the green, I believe that's the retail exclusive version, so it just looks really sharp. I do have a few other eBay purchases that will be coming in shortly, so I'm excited about that. And, you know, with the way that the world is in terms of sports cards, so many people going after so many different things that you can get really, really good deals on singles right now. So, probably be seeing a few more single card purchases here on the channel and other oddball things that I pick up along the way just because it's, uh, when, when you see a good bargain, you take every opportunity you can to take full advantage. So, anyway, let's go ahead with WrestleMania right around the corner. We'll go ahead and open up one of our boxes of Topps Finest. It says, Collect the Undertaker Tombstone Tribute Cards. It sounds pretty interesting. You see Bianca Belair, Belair, former champion. I can't remember if she was Raw or SmackDown. I think she might have been SmackDown champion. But four cards per pack, seven packs per box, so 28 cards per box. King at Nakamura. Of course, he's dropped that gimmick now. Now it's back to Shinsuke Nakamura. Damian Priest with recent heel turn. There's Bianca once again. And, of course, we'll show you the odds like we always do. Looks like Topps has put out a lot of different uh, parallels there. Looks like you got some refractors, some super fractors. Probably be some variations and so forth. Of course, recently in one of the Heritage boxes, we pulled a Seamus one of one. Of course, we did pull uh, an Orton name variation or whatever you want to call it. It wasn't a name variation. It was just a variation. Doesn't look like any of these packs. Well, that one might be a little thicker, so we'll just shimmy it to the bottom. But we'll go ahead and get started. All the information on the packs is on the box, so hope we have a good rip. Not sure what we're going to come up with, but we're going to start with Candice LeRae. These are really, really shiny cards. Take a look at the back of it. Looks like it's just got some little bit of information, nothing crazy. Commander Aziz, a rookie card of Commander Aziz, who is aligned with Apollo Crews right now. Cedric Alexander, now it looks like a refractor. Let's see what it has on the back here. It doesn't, yep, it does say refractor. And then Mustafa Ali, who's been reported to uh, have asked for his release, but not been granted his release. And it's been six or eight months since he's been on TV, so... Just weird how WWE will keep somebody under contract and not use them. Got a Rick Boogs rookie card. Looks pretty cool there. Back before he cut his hair real short. Jackson Riker. I don't believe he's with the company anymore. Then we have a Charlotte Flair with Becky in the... What do you want to call that? The Boston Crab. And a nice Elias. Of course, he's another one that has not been on TV for quite some time. Six foot... Six foot tall, 217. So these cards, I really like these cards. I may have to try to make this set, put this set together too. I, don't know, I, got, a, I got so many sets in the works right now, it's, it's really not even funny. But we will eventually get them all squared away. Xavier Woods, now King Xavier, winner of last year's King of the Ring tournament. Jay Uso, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Ooh, that's a nice looking card. Except this guy's now in AEW. Isaiah Swerve Scott was released. 
And now what's he going? I can't even remember what name he's going by. It's Swerve something. And it's just a foil board, it looks like. Not sure what kind of parallel that is. And our last card is Becky Lynch, as I'm trying to stay out of the reflection here. I really do like the design of these cards. I'll try to open it this way so we don't see who the last card is every time. Roman Reigns is next, doing his Superman punch. Sonya Deville. Another AEW, I don't want to call him a turncoat, but he got released from the company, so he went to AEW. And is it, it is also a refractor, so really nice Jeff Hardy refractor. That one looks really nice. Like I was going to say, turncoat would be a really, really uh, bad term to use, but he did uh, leave the company on less than stellar terms, but not of his doing as the company wanted him to, uh, what was it, take the, go to, go to rehab for something that he didn't need rehab for. So up next is Danny Birch. Not familiar with Danny Birch. Looks like he might be an NXT guy. He is. Karrion Cross, another one that was released last year. Looks like we got some kind of Ooh, a Becky Lynch. Ooh, wow, it is numbered 23 out of 99. If you're going to get a numbered card, Becky Lynch is one to get a numbered card of. Set that one up there so we can get it sleeved. And a rookie card of Mace. Not really the best rookie card you want to get, as that was a failed project with Retribution. Looks like we got two more packs to go. Again, I don't know what you guys think about these cards, but they look really nice in my opinion. Santos Escobar, I think he's in NXT, which he is. And <laughs> we got a Tomasa Champa foil board, and it looks like that's something else behind that. So, got a Sheamus. So, we got this foil board of Tomasa Champa, and what's this one going to be? Ooh, Paul Heyman Legacies with Bobby Heenan. So, that is a nice looking insert. So let's see, let's see what the uh, uh, legacies, what they're inserted. Um, not seeing it right offhand. And we're not live, so you guys can't tell me. Uh, legacies inserts are 1 and 18 right there. So the Legacies inserts are one. Let's take a look at that one. I should put that one up there with the Becky. Because that is just an awesome looking card. So we'll go to our last pack. The one that I said that I thought was a little bit thicker. But I don't think it is. It's just one of those uh, optical illusions, if you will. Aaliyah, we've not heard much about her in the last few months. Ember Moon, I believe she recently got released. Ooh, we got a Kofi Kingston. This is, uh, is this, uh, Soul Survivors. So that is an insert. Soul Survivors, Kofi Kingston. And then Shelton Benjamin. So let's see what that Soul Survivors, what that is. Um, 1 in 18 as well. So we did pretty good. We got, uh, the two best cards out of this easily are the Legacies of Paul Heyman and the 23 out of 99 Becky Lynch. So two really nice inserts. So I really like these cards. Like I say, I may work on doing a base set of those. So we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave some comments down below. I always enjoy talking with you, each and every one of you. So uh, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Come back and see us tomorrow. Thanks for watching.